your heroes growing up? Who taught you that it's okay to reach for the stars? Who showed you what it takes to be a champion? How did you learn things like perseverance, dedication, passion, resiliency, focus? What if you could have talked to your heroes, learned from them, become friends with them, shared your dreams with them? We all want to feel connected, to feel part of something bigger, something amazing, to believe we are capable of greatness. I was tired of going into school, giving a talk, and never seeing kids again. With Classroom Champions, that connection is within reach of every child who needs it most. So what we do at Classroom Champions is we match Olympians and Paralympians with classrooms. Hey, Classroom Champions. Every month, they communicate with these kids. We call them mentors, and they're changing the way kids look at grit and resiliency and perseverance, and they're doing it with low-income schools across the country. And it's that simple. Look for those people in the community who you admire. Each class gets the tools to connect with athletes all around the world. It's Alana again. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about perseverance today. Giving students meaningful relationships focused on the pursuit of excellence through setting goals and changing mindsets. I knew exactly what I wanted almost from the time I knew I lost my leg. And that was to snowboard again and to also be a Paralympian. Leaders have a desire to serve. The two of us, you know, growing up, we were very fortunate to have some some incredible mentors and true leaders in the sport of figure skating to look up to. It all starts with a connection. Connecting athletes to students. Positive role models to at-risk youth. Classrooms to technology. Achievement to perseverance. And ultimately, children to potential. It's about helping kids connect with something deeper with the ability inside each of them to strive, to reach higher, to plan for more. My goals are to make it to college and get my education. To exceed expectations. I've had the opportunity to get to know some amazing students at Horace Mann Elementary School in West Allis, Wisconsin. Where did all this love for Aaron and Team USA come from? Uh, my students are part of the amazing Olympic mentor program called Classroom Champions. Classroom Champions, because kids have what it takes they just need a champion. I us to understand that the greatest use of technology today is its ability to build relationships in youth. And that when you build relationships in youth, you change the way they look at themselves, the outside world, and their ability to work together to accomplish tasks. And when you can put in the teacher's hands an amazing relationship for kids, awesome things happen. And the answer lies in this, this stuff called Milam. And Daniel Coyle in the book Talent Co. really brought this to the forefront. This is becoming much more cutting edge science. And what myelin is, is it's this insulating sheath that goes around nerve fibers, increasing the speed of our impulses. So it's how we, it's how we learn. And for our leadership purposes, quality repetition creates skill. And let's take, I wanna take a little bit more of a look here at, what, at what's happening inside, and then we'll get into really what more of myelin is. And what, what's happening is that every time we do something, we fire these impulses in our brain, and the, the, the impulses get sent from the neuron across the axons to more neurons, and it gets hollowed through, and then all of a sudden, it's, it's, shaking, it's shaking a hand. And it's just like, think about uh, you know, the first time we drove a car. How was that? What, what else could you do? What else could you do the first you know, week you were driving a car? I mean, the radio on was a distraction, right? I mean, even thinking about taking your hands off and doing this. Now, I mean, we could sit there with our knee, our cell phone, and a burger in the other hand, and we can go from, point, from home to work without even knowing how we got there. We have myelinated that skill. Our pathways are clean now, they're insulated, everything's happening, everything's firing very, very, very quickly.
What I'm here to tell you today is that my success and my energy, a lot of people around me, has come because I wake up every day with a problem. And that success and innovation come from spending the rest of the day trying to figure out how to solve that problem and going to bed at night with the satisfaction of knowing you've done just one thing to try to fix that current problem. I'm going to talk to you today about golf, about my Olympic experience, and an education program that my sister and I founded that all kind of focus around how we as humans do better when we try to look at problems. It's how we're built. It's how we're, it's how we're made. We are loss averse, fight or flight, procrastinate to the last minute to get anything done animals, and it's time we go back to that and start to appreciate it. Two decisions in those five minutes sitting on that couch began to change my life and sticking to them fulfilled my dreams. It was those decisions and standing by them that ultimately gave me the confidence to perform at the Olympic Games. What two decisions can you make and stick to that will change your life forever? I challenge you to look at what you're doing in your life and think of what you dream to do. For me personally, it was one of those moments that I've waited for my entire life. I've waited to head to a moment like that and have the confidence to know that we are about to win. To me, the, the, this, the power of the new Olympian, the power of the new lo hero, hero, role model, is, is something that we've never seen before. And I'm excited to see what the power of the new social Olympian is going to be. Now, we all don't have, not all of us have time to go to a school every day or every month or every year, but we all have 90 seconds to open up our laptop or take out our phone and make a video and make an impact and possibly be that next hero in that community that needs you the most. Thank you so much. Which, when I was in college, that was great. When I was just out of college, that was great for me. Then, as I got older and I became, you know, more of the more of an adult, you want to have a life. You know, you want to, you want to, like. I began, I began looking at sport as it was work. It was my work, not the work in the sense that I have to go sit at a desk and I hate life kind of thing. But like, I enjoyed it. It was fruitful, but it was still a place of work. So when I got home, I didn't want to have. So I wanted taking that off my wall. But that being said, I had already ingrained all the habits that were the reason for me doing that. So you have those things on your wall, so you remember, right? So that reminds you to eat better, to drink less, to sleep more, to do those things you're supposed to do. And it reminds you, once you get those things ingrained, and what's, you know, you guys are at the age now where that should start to become habit, like eating right all the time, drinking your water 